Hello, welcome to Haybridge English Department. At Haybridge for A-Level we teach separate English Literature and English Language A-Levels and this is a presentation about English Literature. So, our Head of Department is Mrs Williams, I'm Miss Bird and I look after A-Level in both the English subjects. If you come and join us at Haybridge, you'll be joining a very experienced department. We've got a very wide range of knowledge and we absolutely love our subject. So every year we look for new ideas, we read new criticism, we introduce new books. We're a very friendly, supportive environment. We really do nurture our students and look after you. But we, part of looking after you is giving you lots of challenge as well. We look at a very wide range of texts, so that should allow you to find your own interests with it. We like you to be very open-minded and try things out, including different interpretations. So you're going to have lots of opportunity to share your thoughts. Uh, and so we look forward to you joining us. This is the staff for A-Level Literature. It's Mrs Late and me, Miss Bird. As you can see, we have a wide range of interests ourselves in terms of literature. Some things that are similar and a few things that we don't agree about as well. We've got welcoming, friendly classrooms where we teach our subjects and as you can see from some of the photos here, we also have a very uh, well-stocked library at Haybridge. There's a wide range of fictional texts and also a good range of criticism on the texts we study at A-level. It's a good place to go and do your independent study. So, in your English Literature lessons you're going to be looking at uh, texts from a broad range of genres and time periods. So, in some ways, there are some similarities with GCSE literature, but we get to look at books in much more detail, we get to take a much more exploratory approach, and of course, in smaller groups, you have more opportunity to give your own ideas. You'll be learning to write analytically and fluently, with lots of practice, so that you can reach a good academic standard in your writing. And we're very lucky that we still have coursework, so you get opportunities for independent study there as well. So these are the three components uh, of the A-level course and in the next few slides I'm going to talk you through a few of the texts that we've chosen to study for these. So for component one we study drama and poetry pre-1900. We do study Shakespeare and we've chosen perhaps a slightly lesser known play Coriolanus, one of his Roman plays about a Roman general who's brilliant tactician uh, in wars, very brave, very violent but struggles when he has to go back to Rome after the wars and become almost like a politician, and this looks at his struggles. We also compare The Duchess of Malfi by John Webster and Paradise Lost by John Milton. You may be aware of the Adam and Eve story from the beginning of the Old Testament in the Bible. John Milton has written his poem exploring the ideas, the philosophy, the theology and the characters behind that particular story. The Duchess of Malfi by John Webster is a Jacobean revenge tragedy. Uh, it's a play full of blood and violence and all sorts of exciting things that people tend to enjoy studying. For paper two, uh, our contextual study, we're looking at the genre of the Gothic. So we study two specific texts, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter. And then we do a lot of wider reading in the genre right from the beginning uh, with the Castle of Otranto back in the 1700s up to very modern day texts. And this is in preparation for uh, an unseen component in the exam. As I said, we're very lucky that we get to do coursework for English Literature A level. And this is our post-19 study. So we've chosen to compare Journey's End and Pat Barker's Gener Regeneration. That's a play and a novel. So that we can look at how the First World War is represented in literature and the different characters and the different traumas and ideas and some humour that the characters go through. We also look at poetry and that's our post-2000 text and we look at Listener by Lem Cisse, uh, a modern Man Mancunian poet, uh, a lot of performance poetry in his work, poetry slam, writing about a lot of modern issues uh, and things that have occurred in his life. 
So we like to encourage uh, extracurricular opportunities in the English department. You can see there a range of the ones that we uh, offer. And we're also very led by our students. So if there's something you want to do, we'd like you to come to us and tell us about it and we'll do everything we can to try and accommodate it. So where can English literature take you? Well, it's a very, very respected subject and it's very well known uh, by both universities and employers. So as you can see there, our students have gone into such a wide range of careers over the years. And on the next slide, you can see a few more uh, students who particularly wanted to share with you what, where English literature has taken them. So you can see such a range we've got there. We've got actors, we've got uh, people working for the environmental agency, the civil service in children's book publishing. We've got someone who's a Facebook events manager and travels all over the world. And we've also got people who've gone into law. Um, it's a very well-known subject for leading into the pathway of law. You will sometimes hear people say that studying English isn't maybe the most sensible uh, thing to do and that STEM subjects are more sensible in terms of earning more and having uh, better employment opportunities. But We've found over the years that our A-level students and those who've gone on to English degrees, they have such a wide range of opportunities because it's such a well-respected subject. Also, universities employers, they're very much interested in what you achieve, how high you achieve, rather than necessarily the subject you achieve it in. So it's always really important to choose a subject that you think you'll enjoy, that you're going to work hard at and therefore achieve a higher grade for. It actually matches very well with STEM subjects. It's a popular combination at university um, at A-level to do a couple of sciences or maths and then pair that with English literature. And it gives people an idea that you're a rounded individual. So it's a two-year linear, it's a full A-level. You have two exams at the end of the two years and then you've got your independent coursework element as well. And to gain entry to the course, you'll need a level six in English Literature, GCSE. So I hope you found that a little bit of a flavour of the course and you found something interesting that you might like in that. There's more information on the school website and we very much hope that we'll be welcoming you to our classrooms next year. Thank you.